Okay, so now what's left to do is to add um, the exterior wall cladding around the house. Um, so first we just gonna turn off all the layers and turn the wall exterior back on. Okay, so for the wood board, I've already prepared um, components, components, building components, wall cladding. Okay. Just close that. So that's the shape of the wooden board we're gonna use. I'm just gonna put it into place first. So I'm just gonna copy this down and let's say multiply by 15. So now um, we have all those copies and I'm just gonna add some more weather boards here to because I want to lift the whole house as well by about 600 and so that fits quite nicely okay so I'm just gonna group all those weather boards group and I'm just gonna create a profile like this and to so it's more simple because we don't really need um, this part here. So now we get this face, and I'm just gonna copy it. Uh, now I can delete this. I'll hide the, the wall exterior. Now I just need to clean up the extra line. Cool to check that I get all the faces, so it's alright. Uh, turn it back on and get it a group so we can move it a bit long. Now I want to the outline of the building, so I'm just going to go into the exterior wall group, select the top face, Control C to make a copy, exit the group. And control V. And so now I got the outline. I'm just going to close that face. Then delete one of the line. Select the outline and the inside, delete it. And I'm going to delete the face as well because I just need to. Actually, I'm just going to keep the face. I'm going to put it back into place and now I'm going to explode the profile now everything's connected so I'm selecting just like we did for the roof I'm just going to select the, the face first click on the follow me tool and then on the profile so now we get the cladding all around the house. Delete the top face. Select the cladding, make it a group, create a new layer, we'll call it wall cladding. Okay. Okay, well now the problem is that we need to create a hole for the windows as well. So for that we first gonna hide the wall cladding and we're gonna create some cubes so first we're gonna create some rectangles all over the each opening
I'm gonna give it a thickness uh, to 500 and I'm gonna do that for all the faces and then each of those cubes need to be put in a group individually So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna just turn off the wall cladding, and now you can see the cubes are intersecting. Actually, this one, I'm just gonna pull it back in just to be sure that they're gonna intersect. So it's 100. And now we're just going to select the cladding, get inside the group, and intersect with faces. And now we're going to delete all those cubes there. As you can see, create a line. And then we just need to delete those lines. And to get a clean geometry, we're just going to create the line here so there's no open faces. But you need to be inside the group. Okay, so I just mean that how do you really get the corner of it? Once I go in a bit lower. Okay, great. So that's what I'm gonna do for all the openings. So now I'm gonna go around the house to delete all the lines. It's really a long process, but if you have the pro version of SketchUp, you could use the solid tools subtract function or just make it faster. So now we're just going to turn on the, the window layer and see it fits perfectly. Let's turn everything back on as a reference. So now we get our cladding. It looks really nice, huh? And it's pretty good. Or maybe here we can add the, the decking. So let's turn off the wall cladding. And for the decking, let's just make it a rectangle. Um, I'm gonna put a size of uh, 250 by 250. Make it a thickness of um, 35. Actually, it's, it's flush with this. Make it as a component, because we gonna duplicate it along the veranda. And I'm gonna leave a space between, let's say, five millimeters, so 250. Oh, before we do that, just make a copy first. 250, select both of them, make a group, and then go inside the group, and now you can duplicate everything. So you won't have to select them one by one to put them into a group. Uh, let's say 20. And just gonna delete this one. And the last one, I'm gonna make it unique so we can resize it without affecting the other ones. Um, I'm gonna take one of them, make a copy, um, pull it at the back. Uh, make 
is unique. So I can resize it to fit the length of the porch. And so now I'm just going to do redo the same thing that I did at the front, uh, make multiple copies of this component. Okay, good. It's looking great. And I'm just going to create a layer for those two. I'm going to call it decking. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to create the, um, the stairs on this. So for the stairs, I'm going to first draw two lines. That's, um, let's say, 600. And width of 1200, 600. So I think I'm out of tangle. And I guess I'll have how many steps? Like three, three steps. So I'm going to take that line, pull it down here, and divide by four. And I'm just going to extrude them uh, the width of the, the thread. So let's say 300. This one's going to be two times. This one, 300. And this one, I'm just going to give it a little thickness of 25. So I get this group. And I'm just going to remove those lines here. Then I'm going to create the stringer. Um, first, I'm going to create a, a guidelines. Move it, let's say, yeah, 50 is going to be enough. Make another one to 300. And now I'm just going to create the stringer. Say this one's gonna shift it the direction. And I'm gonna give it thickness of 50. So that's gonna be my stringer. I'm gonna make it as a component. Make a copy on the other side. Press K. Oops. So I can snap to the corner. And I'm just gonna close this place as well. Draw a line here and push pull it to the other side. Okay, so now we're between the stairs. Great. Just gonna select the thread and the stringer, make it as a component stair, and I'm gonna make a copy and have one at the back. Yeah, sometimes instead of using the rotate tool, if you mouse over some of the face of that cube, you have some little points there that allows you to have the rotate, and that's on each faces. So I'm gonna get the midpoint of here and just press it roughly there. I guess for this one, I'm gonna make it as unique and try to widen. Okay, so now we got our stairs at the back, stairs at the front, and maybe I'll close off this area as well.